Hello. Uh, very good morning to one and all present here. I'm Milan Hande uh, from Yenapaya Medical College, Mangalore. And I'm presenting a study on the internal and the external locations of the Tyrion and its neurosurgical implication. My guide is Dr. Venkatesh J. Kamal. Uh, Tyrion is an H-shaped suture in the normal lateralis of the skull, marking the confluence of frontal squamous part of the temporal bone, the greater wing of the sphenoid and uh, the parietal bones. It can be classified into four different types based on the contributions of these four bones into spinoparietal, where there's sphenoid and the parietal bone, frontotemporal, uh, the frontal and the temporal bones, the stellate, where all the four bones meet into one point, and the epiteric, where there's an extra bone that is present in between all the four bones. The need for my study is that neurosurgeons often rely on specific landmarks during tumor resection to assess the anatomical, neuroanatomical uh, depth of the structures. And my study analyzes the uh, depth of the optic canal and the spinoid ridge from the external location of the Tyrion. Uh, the aims and objectives of my study are to determine the precise location of the Tyrion internally and externally, specifically in Indian ethnic group, uh, to define its location as linear distances from specific landmarks, to analyze whether there is a statistically significant variation bilaterally in both the sexes, and to analyze the incidence of different types of Tyrion. Uh, the materials and methods are uh, that I've taken 50 whole human adult skulls and 50 linearly cut skulls, uh, any of which uh, below the level of the supraorbital ridge were not taken into consideration. Uh, the instrument that I've used is a digital calipers uh, with a precision of 0.01 millimeter. The study uh, design aims at uh, finding out the type of the Tyrion, the length of the suture, and the linear distance of the Tyrion from the specific landmarks. This is my methodology, wherein the center point of the Tyrion is uh, taken by drawing a circle uh, which has the radius involving, the smallest radius involving all the four bones. And uh, CPS is the, um, is the measurement of the um, posterior lateral portion of the frontozygomatic suture, and Z is the midpoint of the zygoma. And uh, for the internal measurements, I've taken uh, the lateral most portion of the optic canal and uh, the lateral portion of the sphenoid ridge, which is in the lesser wing of the sphenoid. The technique involves repetition of uh, the measurement twice. And if there was a difference of more than 0.1, there was a third measurement taken in order to avoid uh, mistakes. And the results and analysis I've analyzed using SPSS software of version 20 and a student t-test in order to find out if there's any uh, significant sexual dimorphism. Uh, this is a, these are my results with the table depicting uh, the measurements of uh, Tyrion externally from the specific landmarks that I've already told, out of all of which RFZSP, which is the measurement of uh, the Tyrion on the right side from the frontozygomatic suture, is uh, uh, showing sexual dimorphism with a p-value less than 0 0.05. And uh, this is the internal measurements of the Tyrion bilaterally from uh, the optic canal and the sphenoid ridge. Uh, in male and female, in right and left side respectively, are uh, not showing any statistically significant sexual dimorphism because none of them have a p-value less than 0 0.05. This is the graph that uh, depicts the incidence of different types of Tyrion in my study. Uh, all of them show a uh, consistent uh, similarity in the fact that they all have uh, spinoparietal being the most common, following which there's frontotemporal, the epiteric, and the stellate types. Uh, now, when I compare my study to the other studies, uh, I, com I can come to the conclusion that uh, the Turkish and the Nigerian have a higher, more, the Tyrion location is at a higher and a most, more posterior location. And my study doesn't show sexual dimorphism, but uh, the study done in the Thailand, Thai skulls show uh, significant sexual dimorphism, which is not consistent with my study. Uh, these are... Uh, this uh, is a table which depicts the social morphology of the Tyrion in diverse ethnic groups, which is consistent with my study in the fact that the spinoparietal is the most common of all. Uh, coming to the conclusion, there were no significant sexual dimorphism as seen in my study, and the social morphology was spinoparietal followed by frontotemporal followed by epiteric and stellate varieties. And I was able to achieve all of my objectives uh, by measuring the linear distance of the Tyrion from the specific landmarks. The clinical implication of my study is that uh, the depth of the optic canal and the spinoid ridge of the Tyrion are important dimensions for neurosurgeons for their proximity to several brain tumors. Uh, like it can be this optic meningioma is, uh, the treatment for optic meningioma is 
right now, as of now, not craniotomy what is done. What is specifically done is the terional keyhole surgery, which is why my study becomes relevant. And uh, it can also be as an approach to MCA aneurysms. These are my references and acknowledgements. Thank you. So what are all the pathological uh, conditions? Uh, where is that neurosurgeon can go for this veterinary and what are the type of surgeries? Uh, sir, all of them, as my study uh, aims at finding the position of the terion for specifically things like optic meningioma, but as of now, initially it started off as craniotomy, then it went to mini craniotomy. Now it has come to a stage where it is terional keyhole surgery, where the uh, exact location of the terion is required for us to actually go in. Apart from optic meningioma, uh, circle of villus aneurysms are the uh, other set of surgeries which can be done because... Um, of uh, sylvian fissure from the sylvian fissure will be going in and will be getting and uh, for trephination of extradural hematoma also because of uh, middle meningeal uh, vessels being right underneath the terion. Apart from that, uh, cavernous hemangiomas uh, can also be done. It's cavernous hemangiomas, hemangiomas, you can go through no skull base. So even uh, the skull base, you can go, uh, go for pituitary, craniofering, uh, all those things. Okay, oh, because there's a um, very wide, very wide variety of pathologies are now covered under skull base surgery. Through no any surgeon is doing everything. So I want to just ask this question only. How many cases, how many tumors are, how many, what are the pathologies? This will help, actually. Okay. Optic, so, uh, optic, uh, neuro, uh, uh, optic meningioma. Optic meningioma. That is the one uh, mm -hmm. in which uh, the literature that I have read, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, very specifically, as of now, optic meningioma is the one uh, pathology for which this is the standard treatment. This is the first line treatment for it. Because in ENT, we are actually going and opening the tumor, pituitary. Even, uh, even they are going for third ventricle, uh, like that. And also um, cavernous hemangiomas, cavernous tumor. Everything is uh, dealt with the skull based surgery, with the recent advances in the ENT. So uh, I wanted to just, I was starting, what is the role of exactly the pterion? Okay. So it is ethnic specific. Okay. Uh, for the other pathologies, it's just an alternative method. So for optic okay. meningioma, it's a standard. It's treatment. standard method, yes. pterion. So how does, is there any helpful for pterion? So the, in this case, do you, you use the landmark as a pterion for optic meningioma or do you go for again stereostatic surgery? You use an stereostatic method. I didn't get you, sir. Sorry. So when you use a landmark as a stereo and the uh, optic uh, meningioma tumors, is there any again necessary to go with the help of stereostatic? St stereostatic? You need stereostatic st static surgery? Or are you just uh, belie uh, believe in the Tyrion landmark? My study focuses on the Tyrion, sir. Tyrion. So I believe in that. Okay. Madam. <laughs> so when you take the landmark as Tyrion, with, I, do, I want to know whether this neurosurgeon will go again, stereostatic and other help, landmark. Like we do a fashion of decompression, again we'll need nerve monitoring, we keep safe side. Okay, madam. Thank you. <laughs>